Hello viewers, if you are new to the channel, please hit the like and subscribe button and share it with your friends. Also, click on the bell icon so that you get the latest information about the videos that are uploaded. Hello students, welcome back to the new video. In this video, we are going to start chapter number 5, Coal and Petroleum. In today's session, we will see the introduction of the chapter. In our everyday life, we use a large number of materials for our basic needs. Some of these materials are found in nature, whereas others are man-made. So students, if we look at the activities and the things that we use in our everyday life, we can see that we use a large number of materials all for our basic needs. But if we look at the origin of these materials, we can see that many of these materials are obtained from nature, whereas some are man-made. Air, water, soil, sunlight, coal, petroleum, natural gas and minerals are obtained from nature, so they are called as natural resources. On the other hand, plastic, synthetic fibers, paints, drugs, etc. are all man-made materials. So what does it show? Whatever materials we use in our everyday life can be either natural or man-made. That means we obtain materials from natural sources as well as the man-made materials. So, which are the examples of natural sources? Air, water, soil, sunlight, coal, petroleum, natural gas, etc. Now, we call these materials as natural resources. Do you know what is resources? Resources is the collection of something that can be used. So, here all these materials or the examples of natural sources we mentioned here are actually called as natural resources because we all, all living things use these sources from nature for our existence. On the other hand, plastics, synthetic fibers, paints, drugs, all these materials are called man-made. Do you know why? Because we human beings manufacture these all materials using some raw materials. Since they are made by man, these materials are called man-made materials. Now, let us introduce two words that is inexhaustible and exhaustible. So, the natural resources can be inexhaustible and also exhaustible. So, we have already seen that anything in the environment which can be used is called a resource. So, the resource that we get from nature is known as natural resource. All the natural resources can be classified into two main groups. Inexhaustible natural resources and exhaustible natural resources. So, which are the two types of natural resources? Inexhaustible and exhaustible natural resources. Now, let us discuss what are inexhaustible and exhaustible resources? The term inexhaustible means something which cannot be used up completely. Those natural resources which are present in unlimited quantity in nature and are not likely to be exhausted by human activities are called inexhaustible natural resources. So, Inexhaustible. Exhaustible means that may get over. So, inexhaustible means that may, may not get over. That means something which cannot be used up completely. Such natural resources which are present in unlimited quantity and they are not uh, likely to be completed by the human activities are known as inexhaustible natural resources. Which are the examples? As you know, the examples are sunlight, air and water. 
here water means the water present on the earth surface but drinking water is always a limited natural resource drinking matter means pure water so sunlight air and water are inexhaustible natural resources there is a never ending supply of inexhaustible resources in nature so when we say that sunlight is inexhaustible it means that there is an never ending supply of these resources in nature now let us see what does the term exhaustible means the term exhaustible means something which can be used up completely those resources which are present in a limited quantity in nature and can be exhausted by human activities are called exhaustible natural resources so as the term indicate exhaustible means which can get over which can be completed so exhaustible means something which can be used up completely so this type of resources that is exhaustible resources are present in a limited quantity in the nature and due to the human activities these exhaustible resources can get over so such resources which can get over by the human activities are known as exhaustible natural resources examples are coal petroleum natural gases minerals wildlife etc so as the name indicates these are all exhaustible resources coal petroleum natural gas minerals because they may get over due to the continuous usage by human human beings the inexhaustible natural resources do not last forever so we can say that the in uh, exhaustible natural resources do not last for ever some exhaustible sources are called non renewable sources of energy this is because when all the coal petroleum and natural gas present under the earth will get used up no more supply of these fuels will be available in the near future so we have seen what are exhaustible resources that means the sources which may get over but these uh, resources are also termed as non renewable resources of energy what is the reason this is because when the natural resources like coal petroleum natural gas etc which are present under the earth will get completely used up no more supply of these fuels will be available in the near future Do, uh, you know the reason for that what is the reason because these fuels are taking millions of years to form again so in the near future it will not be available to know more about coal we should know the meaning of the term fossils so what are fossils fossils are the remains of the prehistoric plants or animals buried under the earth millions of years ago so to know and to understand more about this uh, non renewable resources like coal and petroleum we should know the term fossils fossils are actually the remains of the prehistoric plants and animals that get buried under the earth millions of years ago now let us understand what are fossil fuels the natural fuels formed from the remains of living organisms buried under the earth long long ago are called fossil fuels examples are coal petroleum and natural gas see the natural fuels that is the fuels obtained from the nature if they are formed from the remains of living organisms that got buried under the earth long long ago are called fossil fuels that is the fuels obtained from the fossils they are known as fossil fuels examples are coal petroleum and natural gas why do we call this coal petroleum and natural gas as fossil fuels 
because they are obtained from the dead remains of living organisms coal petroleum and natural gas are called fossil fuels because they were formed by the decomposition of the remains of prehistoric plants and animals that is fossils buried under the earth long ago uh, so why do we call coal and petroleum and natural gas as fossil fuels this is because they were formed by the decomposition that is breaking down of the remains of prehistoric plants and animals that are called fossils which were buried under the earth long long ago so these fossil fuels are exhaustible natural resources uh, what is the reason for that because once all these fossil fuels are used up they will be gone for ever so it is not easy or it is a very uh, time consuming process that is the fossil fuels are formed over millions of years ago so once if it is over it is gone for ever now let us understand how fossil fuels were formed fossil fuels were formed from the dead remains of living organisms buried under the earth millions of years ago this happened as follows the plants and animals which died millions of years ago were gradually buried deep in the earth and got covered with sediments like mud sand and away from the reach of the air so how fossil fuels were formed fossil fuels were formed from the dead remains of living organisms which got buried under the earth over millions of years ago now how do they converted into fossil fuels see when the plants and animals died they gradually buried deep in the earth and these uh, remains were covered with sediments like mud sand and uh, they got they have gone deep and deep further and uh, they became out of reach of the air in the absence of air the chemical effects of heat pressure and bacteria converted the buried remains of plants and animals into fossil fuels like coal petroleum and natural gas so when they were buried deep very deep and uh, covered with uh, the sediments like mud in the absence of air these chemical effects of heat pressure and bacteria converted this buried remains of plants and animals into fossil fuels which are the fossil fuels formed like that coal petroleum and natural gas so this buried remains of uh, remains of large land plants were converted into coal whereas those of tiny marine plants and animals were converted into petroleum and natural gas so it this process has taken place on the land as well as under the sea so the land plants that is the large land plants are converted into coal whereas those of tiny marine animals and plants were converted into petroleum and natural gas so students i hope you have understood the topics very well but still if you have any doubt you can write in the comment section i will surely try to solve it as early as possible here are some review questions please solve it in your notebook thank you